Okay, you just ordered your wheel polish kit and received it in the mail. First thing we're going to do, we're going to open it up. And you see the three canisters labeled one, two, and three. That is the order you are going to use these in. I'm going to take them out. And set them up to get ready for use. The white is the first one you use. The orange is the second. And the graphite is the last. Okay, after that, take all your swabs out. And we're going to cut them in half so you can put them in your drill. If you put them all together like this, just make one cut and be done with it. Let's cut them like right down the center. There is plenty of um, spears in here to do all four wheels. Okay, the only tool you'll need for this is a high-speed drill. Take our wheel, kind of spin it and dip it in there. And you need to keep it going and don't like leave it at one spot because you don't want to build up a bunch of heat and friction and tear up the inside of your wheel because it don't take much heat to break those wheels down and distort them. Okay, there's that one. Okay, after about 10 or 20 minutes of drying, it needs to be buffed off. Or you can take it to the faucet with a soft bristled brush and just scrub it off like that, scrub off the excess. But once it dries, once it dries, here's one that's dry. Just put a clean spear in there and remove the excess. Okay, once you remove all the excess, do the same thing with the yellow or the orange. Come back, do the same thing. Keep the drill moving back and forth. All right, that'll dry. And when it dries, do the same thing. Get a clean polishing spear. This is one that's dried. Get a clean polishing spear and buff it out. Okay. 
and you can take you take this to your faucet or your sink with a soft bristled brush with um, use cold water or lukewarm don't use water that's too hot because it, these wheels are this is like a a real thin plastic and I'm afraid if you get it too hot you'll like change the form of it or something it'll like melt it so just like use warm water or cold water and it'll get it off just fine put it under the faucet soft bristle toothbrush and just scrub that excess off okay once you get it all scrubbed off it'll look like this and now we're going to go to our graphite this is the most important part put a new spear on dip it in your graphite and be really thorough go back and forth be really thorough with this step the better you get that graphite embedded into the plastic the faster it's going to go you know dip it in again you got plenty of graphite to do all four wheels anywhere the wheel's going to make contact with the axle those are the parts you need to hit okay change it out and then move on to this one the rounded one There's one that's kind of pointed. And that's how you apply the graphite so it goes in this order the white is the first step thoroughly apply it inside the wheel outside of the wheel let it dry for 20 minutes and then take a clean spear and buff all the stuff that's out on the in, in the middle and then on the outside and whatever excess you have like little white flakes take it under your sink cool water and a soft bristle brush and just brush the excess off you're going to repeat this with the yellow do the same thing with the yellow then after it's all cleaned off and dry make sure it's totally dry if you use the water before you add the graphite and then apply the graphite as thoroughly as possible and this is very it's very important to spend a little extra time prepping your wheels i mean this will in definitely increase the performance of your pinewood derby car so take your time do it right and have fun